Every year we do this on Cabo Bay in LA. Cabo Bay in LA is turning six years old this year. And so for the last six years or so, we've had at least, and I know it's more than that, six shows highlighting the works and creativity of our Cabo Bay and authors, Filipino-American authors, joining us also today on the show. Of course, this year, no different. Um, Donna and Cecilia. Donna is from Seattle. Donna, uh, Cecilia is from San Francisco. They both wrote um, fiction. We're talking about that. Where do you get stories? Well, <laughs> um, I, sometimes they come from um, things personal? that I've seen, okay. personal things. Sometimes I hear an anecdote from um, a coworker Friends, or a neighbor, right? or something I hear on the radio or read in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. It can trigger something, and you want to make a story out of it. And sometimes also when you write a story, it gives birth to other stories. Oh, and yeah. that's what you started sharing with us earlier when you wrote about the re uh, uh, memories of your father mm -hmm. in the Bataan Death March mm -hmm. and all that. Now you have all these ideas for other stories oh, after. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So even though the book is a work of fiction, the circumstances surrounding the book are, were based on, on real life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you write, and I touched on this a little bit about um, characters mm -hmm. in your stories, mm -hmm. do you find that you have a list of which is which and what, or do you add characteristics? Because you basically build oh, yeah. their personalities and mm -hmm. their stories and mm -hmm. all that, right? Mm -hmm. So do you have a separate book for just to make sure that you're keeping track of all the characters? I haven't done that. What I, I what I do is I start with I start writing, and then when I get to a certain point, uh, when I feel like I have enough um, to work with, then I start going back and outlining mm -hmm. and um, giving each character sort of a page of description about um, characteristics and some background, right. so that so that can that can propel me forward to um, to the rest of the. The work. Right. How yeah. long does it take? How long did it take you to finish um, your book? Well, actually, the research is the longest part because mm -hmm. I wanted to, do, well, actually, I, I kind of specialize in historical plays. Mm -hmm. So for every work, like research could take between three to five years. Wow. Like the last play I wrote on Lorenzo de' Medici. Mm -hmm. I think that took five years to research. Because you want to stick to the reality as closely as possible. Yes. And you want to make sure that you have the same timeline. And even though the story itself is, you know, fictional, mm -hmm. um, you, it's based on real events. So it has to be. Right. Yeah. Well, the Lorenzo de' Medici play is actually a historical play. Okay. So so I, I, I didn't want to deviate. Okay. It's not, it's not okay. a work of fiction. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So, but the writing was the... The writing is the easiest. Part. Right. What about Once you, you have the characters, the backstories, uh -huh. then then you just yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So fra so the writing itself, and when you mm -hmm. sit in front of the computer, how long? I don't know. Three Five months. Five months. Six months. Oh, three months. Three months to a okay. year okay. depends. Okay. I mean, if you're writing full time. Right. And what about you, Donna? Well, I started writing when my kids were young, um, seven and three, and mm -hmm. so I would write for about an hour in the evening after they were in bed. And so that was sort of my routine. And I, it, it still is. I write every day for at least an hour, I, or at least I try to. And so um, to get the book done, to get a first draft of the book, it took about two years. Two years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And when you mentioned that writing every night, it's some people, to some authors, they say it's cathartic. Even just journal writing, even just, you know, whatever kind of writing, it is mm -hmm. cathartic. What, what are the benefits to you, you think, of writing? Uh, you mean every day doing yeah. it? Every, well, or not just every day, just the benefits of writing. Benefits of writing. <laughs> uh, why don't you go ahead? <laughs> I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it gives you pleasure. Oh, yes. Does and it the, trans, trans, tra, uh, transfer you, transport you to a different, you know, when you're talking about history, does it oh, yes. take you to that? Definitely. Era, and uh, yeah. Well, especially in writing a play, well, it's different. It's a little different. Because mm -hmm. with a book, you have the inner thoughts, uh -huh. but with a play, you hear these conversations yes. going on. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. And you, Donna? Well, I think it's the same thing. There's a great deal of pleasure in dealing with words, putting together sentences, right. and in the end, coming up with a story. Should yeah. a writer have a wide vocabulary? Is it a must? 
I think it's important because I think it's important to read widely because mm -hmm. um, you can learn so much in terms of um, style and tone and, and vocabulary. Ex and express yourself better if you have different words for right. different emotions and whatever, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Has it helped a technology? Computer now, as opposed to like typewriter before. You're, yeah. Okay. Yes. I never learned to type when I was growing up. That was one thing that I sort of refused to do because um, one of the things my mother used to tell us is that you know you need to learn to type so you'll have something to fall back on. And oh, I always okay. felt I always felt like I don't want to fall back. Right. You know? Right. <laughs> and yeah. um, so I never learned to type. In college, I was paying people to type my co my papers. Um, so thank goodness for the computer. I don't think I'd be a writer without a computer. Right. Mm -hmm. Cut and paste, cut and, right. and all that, right? Yeah. What well, I, I write longhand, actually. Ah, and then ah, <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> I well, don't know. I just, I just can't. It's that direct from the brain right. into the brain or no. Yeah, right. right. It's just, yeah. yeah. But, okay, so in your case, you think technology helps. But then also at the same time now, technology, there's so much um, uh, resources uh, just readily available. Does it help or hurt a writer's cause? And we're going to be talking about that when we return on the show. Don't go away.